Hi, and welcome to the third video in the second part of this series, which is connecting to ourselves and our inner child. This is a magnificent and easy technique for you to remember, and I call it SBS, and I'll explain what the SBS stands for. What happens is when we are overwhelmed by maybe something that somebody said or did or didn't do, our emotions usually go from zero to a hundred in a split second. And we have done this so many times that we have a default position, a default behavior that we don't even think about anymore. We just react. And I'm sure some of you can think of a person in your life, maybe a parent, a friend, a partner, that they just push your buttons. And this is a great technique to break the pattern of that and to interfere with the pattern of it. And what it consists of, the first one is, S is for stop. Now, why stop? Because stop is the magic of healing. It truly is. Stop gives us the ability to pause. And in a pause, we can take a breath, we can download information that we need in that moment, and we come back into the present, which is the most important thing in this, is we want to be present, not spinning out into those places that we've gone before with this particular person or that particular emotion. So pause is absolutely magical and it interferes with the patterns so we go from autopilot to connecting to the present. And I think you all understand how important that is. The second one is breathe. Now, the mind, the body, and particularly the brain really needs oxygen to perform well. And lack of oxygen, as you know, can really interfere negatively with the brain. So we want to purpose breathe and I mentioned it in my previous bit of video about the three breaths but I'm just gonna go over them very quickly again now if you can only take one breath in that moment make it a good one but if you can take three it's been medically proved to reset us to help us be much more present in the moment and to calm us down so that we can proceed. Because what is happening with our brain is when we're overwhelmed, so imagine this is the brain and this is the prefrontal cortex. When we're overwhelmed, our prefrontal cortex literally flips its lid and goes offline. And when it's offline, we are not making good decisions, not good judgment, and you can't make a good decision from a bad place. So what we wanna do through doing this is we wanna bring the prefrontal cortex back online so we're grounded again, and we, can, we have a foundation, which is wonderful, a really good foundation. So we wanna do this so that we're grounded again, and it gives us a good foundation and calms us down. So breathing is so important, and this one is magnificent because it really does work and it's really powerful. So you're gonna breathe in through the nose for a count of four and it will look like this. And out through the mouth for a count of eight. Three times if you can, that will oxygenate the whole body. Because what happens when we are overwhelmed, we're traumatized or whatever, we have four choices of a trauma response. That's fight, flight, freeze and fawn. Now fawn means people pleasing. And that's sometimes you can do both. You can freeze and people please. You can fight and people please. But what most of us do is we freeze. So this oxygenating of the brain really unfreezes us, if you know what I mean, not literally, but it it's like this, this bomb that just covers our body and our mind and calms us down. Now the third one is smile and solve. I put those in the same category. You can do one or the other, or you could do them simultaneously. So why smile? Because guess what? The brain doesn't differentiate between a smile about nothing and a smile about something. It just knows you've smiled. So when you smile, it downloads these beautiful endorphins, happy chemicals like oxytocin, dopamine, serotonin, bathes us in these beautiful chemicals, and it pushes back against the adrenaline and cortisol that is really ramping us up and getting us overwhelmed. So that brings the prefrontal cortex back online. So when you smile after stopping and breathing, 
you're in a much better place and then you can solve because remember your prefrontal cortex is back online and you're able to make a good decision from a good place. So the brain loves to repeat patterns. So I want you to, to take this technique and imagine yourself in the future using it because a lot of athletes do this. They practice things that haven't happened yet. And the, again, the mind doesn't differentiate between what is real and vividly imagined. So I want you to imagine seeing yourself doing this because if you thought of a person that really highly activates or triggers you, you can think of that person again and imagine yourself in a situation with them where you can do this and get a much better, positive, calm outcome. Thank you very much for coming on this journey with me today and stay safe.